So I think the thing that people don't understand about the Web3 world is that they think it's about tokens. The Web3 world is about tokens, like the internet is about transmitting emails, right? It is about that, but it's about a lot more. And at a certain point, the internet was about only moving around emails, but then the infrastructure of the internet developed and became about much more, became about everything, really, about video, all kinds of information, everything, e-commerce, and so on. The thing that our industry actually does is create a deterministic world, a deterministic society. So there's two ways that the world can work. There's the probabilistic way and the deterministic way. In the probabilistic world, you have brands, institutions, people promising you that systems work a certain way. They basically say, if you give me your money into a bank account, I will always return it to you. Or if you pay me for the insurance, I will pay you out if something happens. But the reality is that there is nothing about the system or the systems that that money goes into that guarantees you those outcomes. Those outcomes are completely controlled by people that could decide that our bank isn't returning your money right now because we're going into insolvency. Or our insurance company doesn't want to pay you because we don't want to pay you for whatever reason. That's probabilistic. Even though their brands are promising you that that's not how it works, we know that's how it works because we've seen endless examples of banks not giving people their money, insurance companies not paying, and so on. Then there's the deterministic world, which is determined by mathematics. And mathematics doesn't have any dimension of choice. It's mathematics, physics, cryptography. Basically, if you have uh, something called a private key, you can control a token. You can control an asset, not because there's a person allowing you to do that, but because mathematics is allowing you to do that. So you can go and at any time send a message to a system that's out there being run by a multitude of people that have nothing to do with you and their only real goal is to make sure that the system operates according to the way that it's supposed to operate. And the way it's mathematically forced to operate is that if you send that transaction in, it will do what the transaction says as long as you have the mathematical proof to make it do that. And so in a deterministic world, if you control an asset, you control it through mathematics. In a probabilistic world, you control it because you have a password to a user interface that's connected to a database that someone else controls. And they can always ch change the rules of that. So this is uh, really what we mean by the transition to the, verifi transition to the verifiable web. The transition to the verifiable web is a world where all relationships, all digital relationships are deterministic. All the value you put into a system is something that's guaranteed and deterministic, and it's really defined by three properties. The first one is the ability to verify how the system works. The second one is the ability to know what's going on in the system as, as it's happening, as anything is changing. And the third one is to sign transactions that allow you to leave the system according to the exact conditions you initially verify. So in a deterministic world, if you have value in a bank, no one could ever stop you from withdrawing it. If an insurance company was supposed to pay you something, they have no choice but to pay you because the system itself, the technical system itself, mathematically forces that payment to happen. And this is really what our industry is about. Once people understand this, they generally realize that if you could take any application, and you could take that same application with the same features, the same cost, the same usability, but you could apply this additional deterministic property to it, everyone would choose that application, right? If you just get the same exact thing, same application, same speed, same cost, same features, but the application now in the, in the deterministic state can never deviate from your expectations, can, will always do what you expect it to do, will always give you back your money, will always pay your insurance, will always keep your information safe regardless of what anyone decides. That is the application that people and every rational economic agent prefers. What people don't realize because of all the noise around tokens is that that's not what the industry is about. The industry is about this deterministic version of the world. It's kind of like a period in the internet where everyone was saying or thinking that the internet is a big competitor to the United States Postal Service, right? The Postal Service as a big competitor, it's called the internet because the internet can send electronic mail. Yeah, that's true. Electronic mail is kind of interesting, but that's by, by no stretch of the imagination what information technology in the internet is about. And it's the same about this decentralized infrastructure that creates these deterministic uh, relationships.
So that is really what our industry is about. And if you're interested in a world like that, I think you should be interested in the Web3 blockchain and digital asset industries.